In this video, I am tell about the packet colorizations. The packet colorization basically is the customize the data that are shown in the capture window. It is the help to the targeting specify the data. It is show the traffic which are interested you. The packet of colorization is very helpful to fastly filtering the traffic or fasting the targeting the data or fastly you can get back the data from capture list in wireshark there is a two type of the colorization the one is the permanent and the second is the temporary in the front of you if i am capture some traffic on local area connection clicking in the start button i am really providing some normal dns traffic by hitting the website google the some packet will be captured in the back of a front window so I am clicking on the stop and the first one is the temporary colorization it is the not permanently saved it is the saved in running captured window if you want to shut down the Y shark it is not will be saved colorizations the permanent colorization stored in the reference or profiles you can get back anyway when you relaunching the Y shark and open the Y shark again for or temporary colorizing and here if right click on the detail pane and check the colorize with filter main options and here is a new coloring view. now here is the apply the name of temporary color file name you can apply any name and you can use here string you can apply the filters of here I am applying the DNS filter and applying some background color to be blue or foreground color will be black or white anything and black now I will click on ok and apply and close now in the front of you the traffic which have the DNS query that will be blue so I am clicking on the DNS traffic it is will be highlighted with a blue color and the second rule is if you you go to the view menu and click on coloring rule and here is the permanent coloring schemes you can apply here new coloring rule added old coloring rule which are defined by default you can enable or disable the coloring rule and you can delete the permanently coloring rule here if you can apply some rule it is permanently stored in the profile which are be loaded in your Wireshark and when you come back from Wireshark it is automatically it is automatically color the packet which are in the your capture windows so this is the all about capture the traffic from multiple network source if it, you have the multiple network or the one network is another series and one on network from other IP you can colorize the both packet with different color profile you can easily to use and easily to assess the both packet if you have colorization of both packet it is help to easy to use the wireshark and fastly to use the wireshark so this is the all about my video please subscribe my channel thanks guys